Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you what I'm doing. Uh, I do have so many scraps like this, strips and something what I ripped off from somewhere and it's still here. Uh, these edges ripped off, cut out and stuff like this. And then I do have drawers and drawers of prepared ephemeras and small labels and frames. <clears throat> and pieces like this. So I was thinking finally I should kind of clean my strips and clean these drawers because it's such a shame that it's sitting in there. And I started to do little layouts using all these things. And I was thinking maybe someone will like to have it as well. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna always scan my little layout so you can you can kind of you know try it for yourself if you will want so it will be on my Etsy so here I'm making my little layout it's not glued yet I need to take a picture you know to remember how I place it and I'm gonna uh, do I think I'm gonna call these like bookmarks or large large clusters or side embellishments <laughs> I'm not sure how I will call it but I'm gonna scan everything so you can uh, work with me if you will want so and let's go do some craft so I have made a scan of all my uh, pieces I'm gonna be using here you can see what will be on the sheets there will be so many uh, little images you can put together so I hope that everyone will choose the one they like and I'm gonna start to create something from them so for my first layer I'm gonna take this image this one from here I'm gonna take this one strip and special delivery from this sheet I'm gonna take Western Union from this sheet I'm gonna take one quarter and 30 days and from the last sheet I'm gonna take this 1D and I'm gonna glue these pieces together so first this I'm gonna glue it somehow on that long strip so like this then I'm gonna place there my film strip but I'm I think I'm missing book page so I'm gonna take from my stuff small book page strip of book page and I'm gonna put the glue on that film strip place it right here then I'm gonna place that, that book page strip I do have here this long label like that will go right here, yes. Then Western Union. And I do have here this special delivery, so special delivery will be right here. Thirty days <laughs> will be right underneath. This one quarter I'm gonna place here on the top. This is all to enjoy those layerings and to put together some interesting design. So if you do have uh, cutouts like this and images like this, just go grab your supplies and go to put some little layers, layers together. It doesn't have to take a long time and I think I'm gonna just fold this one put there an eyelet and I do have my first layout done and I have to say it's so much fun to do these little little layouts this can be like a really beautiful bookmark in your in your journal or you can place it on the side of the page uh, glue it with the masking tape or washi tape and it can be like really fun flip out 
For my second player, I'm gonna take from this sheet this and the little film numbers. From here, I'm gonna take the film strip. From this sheet, I'm gonna take this uh, tack with arrow, this and this ephemera, and number 17. From this sheet, I'm gonna take two for half. And now I can put all these pieces together. So first will be the, this long, tall ephemera. Then I'm gonna put there my film strip. So I really enjoy to do these layouts. Just take your time, do not rush. If you do have stuff like I do, that I do have so many of these prepared and I forgot to use them or I prepared too much for a journal, then I didn't have a space in my journal. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using all these prepared ephemeras right now to create hopefully something beautiful. So then I'm gonna put this strip probably right here. Then I'm gonna put this one here. And the small envelope underneath. This two for one will go right there. And number 17 I'm gonna place right on the top. And I think I do have a second layer done. Here uh, I'm gonna be using book page underneath. Yes, I think I'm gonna be using book page underneath. I do have here this collage sheet and I think that will be just exactly what I want. I'm gonna glue all my paper, I think this way, yes, this way on that collage sheet. And just fussy cut out all around with the small gap, with teeny mini small gap. And I do have the second bookmark done. It's reinforced, so I can use it also as a hanging thingy. And I'm gonna put this time an eyelet here on the bottom. So then when I will place it somewhere on the page, I can also hang some charm here on the bottom. So let's make one more from this sheet. I'm gonna take this ephemera and this strip and the today and this thimble note. From this sheet I'm gonna take this and number two. From this sheet I'm gonna take this uh, dot side the rip paper and found. And from this sheet, I'm going to take camera and this ticket right on ab above. So I do have my pieces and I'm going to start to put them together. Here, this one, I think I don't need that long. So I'm going to rip it off and I'm going to glue this long ephemera kind of over the corner. Somewhere here. Now here, I would like to see... this meter strip, this label I'm gonna place to right here and we do have today, today and maybe this one here Yeah, I think I'm gonna place it like this. And this is left over. And I also placed an eyelet here on uh, on that little ticket. So this is my another layout. And I still have loads of to do, loads of things to use. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna open the journal to show you on the some page, how it can looks like on the page, so you will uh, have a better look so these are what I made so if you will glue it with some tape washi tape on the side and it can be like flip out or it can be just like a bookmark in your in your journal 
so this is the one we created together this is the other one that would be probably on this side then we have this one we created together I just hung there little clocks it doesn't have to be there so this is the other one and here are some I created alongside so this one and this one it's kind of like little clusters but they can be used as bookmarks as a flip out on your pages it doesn't have to be overloaded it can be just you know few little uh, embellishments so go to have a look into your stash go to have a look what you've got in there grab your supplies and go to play and here I do have those uh, kind of like tags which can be like flip out uh, on the pages And if you want to use the same, same uh, images, I will put the link down below. Go to have a look and just have a fun. So this is my little sharing for today. I do have so many of these little images and uh, I was always thinking I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them. So this is the day I'm going to start to use them. <laughs> and I'm going to create lots of these clusters. It will be my cluster day. I hope it doesn't mean something wrong. <laughs> so this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for visiting me and spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.